If you live anywhere in Europe, Africa, or even downrange, chances are you've had some interaction with this facility in Germany. It's the Defense Logistics Agency Distribution Center. Everything that you wear, um, everything that you fix your vehicles with, every day you are touching something that has come through this, this facility. That's a huge area to cover, and that means an even larger storage facility to keep everything moving and a ton of energy. But the Army Corps of Engineers are prepared. One of the ways they keep it cost effective is they put all the lights on motion sensors. So they're dark until you keep walking back, and once the motion sensors pick you up, they turn on so you can see. And that's just in the storage area. They had different plans for the main warehouse. This entire facility was designed to use natural light instead of having to use light bulbs. So when the sun comes out, the fluorescents go off and you can still see what's going on. For the lights that have to be used during the nighttime, solar panels cover the roof and pay for one third of the electricity used. They plan on adding more soon, so that way they can take care of all the cost. If you've never been, Germany's a pretty rainy and cold place some months, so they've found a way to embrace the dreary weather. That the rainwater on the roof uh, goes into a catchment basement, which is also serves the, the sprinkler system. They even use heated floors instead of central heating. It's much more efficient to keep the building at basically a constant temperature than heat heating it up and down all the time. They heat the water using these wood pellets. It's better for the environment than burning oil or coal. This entire setup costs $35 million. And yeah, that's a lot of money. But in 17 years, it'll pay for itself. A stitch in time saves nine, they say. And the Army Corps of Engineers plans to make similar installations across military facilities worldwide. Airman First Class Shane Mitchell, Gammasheim, Germany.